My dad came here 40 years ago to be an undergraduate at UMass, and uh, he left for a year but couldn't stay away, and he came back, and he's been here ever since. Everyone knows him. When I was running for select board, I tried to take full advantage of that uh, because no one knew me. Uh, so even though I thought that I milked that for all it was worth, some people still come up to me and say, really? In fact, I guarantee at this moment, someone at the dinner is saying, hold on, Stephanie is John's daughter? If you don't see the resemblance, I think it's all in the hair, actually. I had last year, last October, an unfortunate accident, which uh, hospitalized me for three weeks with some fairly serious uh, lung damage and broken ribs. And so the recovery from that has taken a while, but I'm happy to say that I am bicycling, perhaps with uh, a little less vigor than before, but, uh, but it's still my, my favorite hobby and my, uh, gee, almost my only useful exercise, I must say. That's why I'd be so uh, loath to, to give it up. I uh, started Valley Bicycles. I've been happy to say ever since that uh, my BA in English obviously qualified me to start a bike shop. BA in English has to qualify you for something, obviously. And uh, the bike shop was really, uh, I found my place in Amherst with the bike shop. I enjoyed it so much. It felt like it was educational. That is, I was, I was coaching people on how to buy the right bicycle, bicycle in the ways that are best for them, get the most enjoyment out of their bicycle. I found that very, very pleasant. And uh, along the line, I also seemed to get involved more and more in town. I was donating bicycles to causes like Big Brothers, Big Sisters, and so on. And I uh, was also approached to help the Amherst Police Department get set up with their first uh, bicycle patrols. Uh, Rotary Club was involved in that. The Rotary Club uh, financed one bike and I gave them the second one. So I was responsible in some small way for getting Amherst Police out on bicycles. And very shortly after that, followed with doing the same thing with UMass Police Department. I see John and his role in the chamber as um, really someone who took us from being kind of a more club-like organization to being a very professional organization of people who are dedicated to our members, to creating economic development, to serving tourists, to um, doing everything we can to promote business uh, in this area. And I think that really began uh, with John's position, first as president of the chamber and then as executive director. A number of the things we accomplished were to move first from a uh, small basement room in the Lord Jeff to a uh, nice suite of offices down at 409 Main Street, Bill Gillen's building. A Chamber of Commerce really needs to be visible to the public because we're also a tourist information office. And when Barry Roberts created this building, the Amherst Cinema Center building, John and he worked together to put the chamber into the space that we now have, which is very visible. We had an immediate increase in traffic, in the number of people coming in, and that uptown location, I felt, was so appropriate for a chamber. The visibility, the accessibility, and I think, uh, I think Tony would agree with me today that it, it has really helped the chamber kind of step it up a notch and be a better chamber, a better advocate for uh, the business members and a, and a good representative of the town. Last year, when he was in that bad accident, uh, he was in really tough shape. And I was posting uh, information and updates to Facebook. And someone commented and said, wait a minute, our John? And I thought, that pretty much sums it up. And what a great way to be regarded in the community as kind of 
belonging to all of us, part of all of us. And uh, so that's why I think this award is really terrific. <laughs>